Micheke somewhere from Kenya. He has difficulty in bending and turning on either side. For 13 years, he has lower back pain caused by multiple disc prolapse with lumbar straightening. The man of God is stretching his hand in prayer for Mr. Chege to be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Of all this pain he has in the back for 13 years. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I feel well. Let's clap for Jesus. He has done it. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Chege Gaduru. I am from Kenya. And the reason why I came here is because I've been suffering from lower back pains uh, for a period of 13 years. And these uh, has made me not uh, actually attain the right postures at times in walking. At times in bed, I cannot even turn. Right, right now, I feel lighter. And I feel I actually have no pain at, si all, at all at the moment. But listen. Before you got that what you call lower back pain, pain radius to the right leg, multiple disc passes at L2, L3, whatever. You people at one day, you went to an old building which needed to be repaired. This building, the water could flow at the, there was some place at the back. Amazi, Gaga Kulukuta. What would you feel again over my manju? You could see it as a, an old building where water was passing, and man of God, what you said is very true. Musaja Wakatunda Chayo get the two full. It's actually an old building. Uh, initially used or belonged to my grandmother. But she had long. She had left the building, and the person who was living in that building was my auntie. There was a, a water connection running from the mains on the road. And the, termination had, the piping had been terminated behind the, the building. More or less by the side of it. Yes. So it was this time, if you remember well, as you were passing at the side, there was like, it was not so clean. And you say, ah, let me pass. And you stood like that. Right Right from that building. When you went back home, this issue started. Why should we go back to the building? Because you have taken medicine and everything as if the medicine was not made for curing this. Sickness mm -hmm. or yeah, that's very true, man of God. Other people get cured. But you, you take the medicine on a small moment, the pain comes back. Uh, actually, you have, man of God, uh, to confirm what you're saying. Is, uh, true that you've linked. What I've all along been thinking is the cause of my accident to the actual cause. Because right now, all along I've been saying because of the accident that happened in 
But I now recall vividly that prior to the accident, I used to have back issues. So more or less like the accident came in like a camouflage or like a, mm -hmm. like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually taken opinion. medicine from, because I went to, I saw doctors for a period of close to three years, but I wasn't getting any solution for my back pains. And eventually uh, the bone specialist and the neurosurgeon came to a conclusion that I need to be on painkillers for a period, for, for until when the problem dissipates on its own which is now up to this moment. So I'm still on painkillers to date. Musaja wakatunda chayo geda chitufu nyo kubanga nzebuli jondo wazi nchi omukongo guno guata andiko kufa kukabe njeke nafuna mwaka bili mwe satu. Ni ate woyo gede enso ngene ya vako wuzibu buno. Nezi juki ranti wadenga sina kwa kabe njako mwaka kwa bili mwe satu. Nalinu mizibu omukongo kufada nore chayo geda chitufu nyo chayo wuzibu wange wava kunyumba eri. Ate chitufu chayo geda nti mbade mire dagala ni ingo mgongo teguona. Kubanga na male miyake satu ngangena ngeri ya wa sawo kuzja anjaba. Neba ampe dagala ni ingo mgongo teguona. Paka le watu keisira neba ngamba. Oja kusigala ngo mire dagala diyo kukakanyo obulumi. Paka obulumi wawe uligenda. Elaje miyaka jinojo na jempeze zanga andi kudagala ni inga siwona. The problem. Obuzivu. What could be the cause? Neye sibu koyabu ya andibanga yeri wa. I've never been to that place. Siba anga kwa mchifecho. No. Neda. I don't know you. Sikumanyi. But Jesus knows you. Ne Yesu akumanyi. This you can confirm from the dream. Katina chino nsebolo kaka soku vam chiroto. Say, I dream that I'm in a house I don't understand. Ngoga, eh, ndo tanga ni mnyumba jesi tategira. Yes, yes, very true. Chitu ufunyo. The house is old. Yeah. Yeah, Sometimes it doesn't have even doors. I say, what is this God? That's very true, man of God. And that I actually had a dream at some point, and uh, this building was very strange to me. And uh, I, only, I can only remember getting in. I don't ever remember how I got in and how I even exited from the building. Then there were some strange animals out there. Animals I have never seen in my life, in real life. I, I don't remember seeing any windows. I don't remember seeing any doors, actually. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Sama nyangeli chijo na fuluma mnyumbe. Nene la banga njii ingira. Tekwali madinisa, tekwali nziji. Atewa natuka munde ya nyumba nga siji tegera. Siji la banga ko. Na sanga mwe visolo vya saa tegera. Nesi wa nyangeli chijo na jii fuluma mu. So God was reminding you. Katika tonda yari ya kujukiza. That above all this suffering. Di wakulu wakuba na abona kunokona. This is the cause. Eno yesi buko. But you couldn't know. Nobody could confirm to you what you dream. Or interpret to you what you dream. This dream means. Ni ye walito sobo la kumanya kuwate wali muntu ye naya liya sobo la kufu nulida makulu gachi loto chino. So gentlemen. Kare no sebo. This is the issue. Enono ye nsonga. Now that the cause has been located. Katinga ensibu kobo wezi ulidua. Then the problem is over. Kati awo buzibubu wede wo. Rise up. Situ kasebo. Check. Weke bede. Now you're young boy. Katoli mufu buka muto. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Solo kumponya. Let's clap for Jesus for this wonderful miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, my name is Chege Samuel Gaduru. Pitiwa Chege Samuel Gaduru. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. Buda Nairobi, Kenya. And uh, my story over and above what you've just seen actually goes back to the year 2003 in my assessment as a human being. So what happened around this time is I was involved in a road car accident where my car rolled and was actually written off. 
Around the, on the same same evening I was taken to hospital. And uh, in the hospital I was I had a few x-rays taken. And and physical body checks. The only thing that was revealed by the examination was a small cut on my on the upper side of my eye on the eyebrows. That was stitched. And I was told I'm free to go home. Two years after that, I started experiencing some serious back pains. But linking this to the prophecy from uh, Prophet Samuel Kakande, I actually had some discomforts even prior to the accident. But this time they came back more intense and really spreading over a longer period of time. Uh, as a result, I started visiting uh, hospitals. Went to very many different hospitals in, in Kenya. Uh, from general physicians to bone specialists to, to neurosurgeon. Nothing came out as a major reason why my back, I have such serious back pains. Consequently, my last discussion with a bone specialist was that he'll put me on painkillers until the pain disappears on its own. So I've been on painkillers for a period of close to about 13 years. Which, necessary, which means that every now and then the strength of a painkiller would be increased so as to manage the pain. Coming out of the Kakande Ministries, one day me and my wife are browsing through the YouTube and we come across this ministry, now the Kakanda ministry, where people are being prayed for, and instantly you start seeing some changes in their life. So we watched a few episodes, and eventually we came to this conclusion that we need to come and join the Kakanda ministries, and also claim our miracle. My wife, my mother in law and myself Nange. all had some serious challenges that we needed to be addressed. So I asked my wife and my mother in law to we. come first. They'll have hours to follow. And we did exactly that. So on returning back to Kenya, I noticed some changes with muscle with my wife. But that triggered some agency in me to come here and have my miracle uh, pass on to me. So I asked my wife to come. And since I did not have any medical records with me, the advice that it would, be, it would be good of me to go to a hospital, get a doctor's report, to say exactly what, my, what is causing my pain. For that reason, I went to Calm Consult Clinic. As is showing here, this is the medical record. Is my name, Samuel Chege Gathuru. And the most shocking thing to me, or to my amazement, the doctor was, a, was able to say something, which was uh, that one, the conclusion was that one, there was something called multiple, multiple level discopathy. There was a possibility of osteomalacia. And my back had started straightening. The normal posture of a human back should be curved outwards, like inwards, like this. But mine was assuming a straight posture. I didn't have the curve here at all, at all. So on 2nd of May, I was put on the prayer line, and uh, I was prayed for by Prophet Samuel Kakande. 
instantly I felt some difference in in me. Me. and I started feeling like uh, I have regained my total strength and my body held his back and after that I went back to Kenya where for now about five months I haven't touched anything to do with painkillers I, I thank Jesus and I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for me because I strongly believe that I am free from that pain. Okay, to my fellow mortals, whatever they are, some of the challenges we face in this life are, may require some divine intervention because at times what we think it is that you're suffering from may not necessarily be the case. So as I stand here, I want to urge each and every person who has a challenge that they feel has taken too long and needs, and needs urgent attention to visit the Kakande Ministries. Kakande Ministries. As we speak right now, I can walk comfortably. I can bend. I can twist my body to any direction as it's supposed to happen to a normal human being. With Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus was healing yesterday, is healing today. And the power of the almighty God is felt in the Kakande ministry. I urge you to come and have your miracle with you. I, uh, I say thank you again to Prophet Samuel Kakande. And glory and honor goes back to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching this video.